What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're strictly talking about how to get more barrels. As you can see, I'm taping my barrel up right now because that is way number one. Tape your barrel and then just watch like the dirt pile up on the tape and you'll see if you're getting more barrels. By the way, what's up? I'm Coach Cal. Welcome back to another video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you can be notified when we post new content like this. So then let's get right to the video. I'm gonna go warm up, hit some yaks and just tell you my tips and tricks that I use that helps me get more barrels. Works for me, might not work for you, but I hope you find value in this video. Let's get started. All right, so the second tip nice. I got for you is to make sure that you, you gotta clean up your bat path. So if you're going like out and about, chances of you getting barrels are very slim. And if you do, they're gonna be top spun, side spun, anything but back spun. So the idea is to take the knob to the ball this way not this way, like they tell you in the Little League, we don't do that. We take it this way behind the ball and then just let it follow, let it rip through. Uh, so I like the exaggerated choke up where I choke up kind of like where the pine tar is at. And I choke up and I just take swings like that. So you could do it in on tee, side toss, front toss, whatever the case is. You'll know if you're coming out and around, if you're getting like hurt, don't get hurt. So you got the exaggerated choke up. Now another way to clean up your bat path is to focus on each hand. Each hand has a job to do. We won't get too into depth with that, but I like the telephone type of hand gesture, the hotline bling, like something in my cell. We'll do that. We'll hold the ball just like that. And our idea is to get from thumbs up to thumbs down as quick, as clean, as efficient as we can. Any movement this way, it's gonna make it long and loopy and around. I want my hand to go from here to here as quick as possible. And that's what they say when they say like, be quick to the ball, right? Uh, we think this hand has to be quick to the ball, but that's not the case at all. Because now if this finger gets involved, we'll start rolling over. Again, we're gonna top spin, side spin, and all that not good stuff. You want good stuff. So focus primarily on the bottom hand because usually swings are top hand dominant. So we'll counter that by being bottom hand dominant um, and incorporating that whoop, thumbs up, thumbs down type of vibe. All right, and some more ways to fix up your bat path is to actually take swings with some types of constraint or thought. Uh, and, and this one, as you see, is the three ball setup. We got the money ball in front so that we know how deep our barrel is how long our barrel is in the zone for uh, after we make contact. So that's the idea is to try to pass all three balls. The three ball drill, very simple, we've seen it before. I love to use it just to see where the uh, the path path is, right? Uh, another one I love to do is I love to cross eye. So they say inside pitches go to left field, but I like to put the inside pitch inside and try to go middle oppo with it just to show that I can I know what I'm doing if I get beat right because in reality we will get beat fastballs will beat us so if you can keep your hands inside and still get barrel you're much more inclined to get hits because you're getting hits hits when you're not perfect right you don't have to be perfect to get a hit so I like to put the ball inside go oppo and I actually like to put the ball outside and pull but both objectives remain the same I want these barrels I want to be able to hit that low and away change up for a barrel to the left center and still take that inside fastball up the middle for a barrel. So this is the premise of these drills is not to like rewrite baseball and say, no, don't listen. Outside pitches go opposite field. Well, if it was that easy, everybody would do it, but it's not. So our job is to increase our margin and give ourselves a better chance for success. And I said chance because chances are you're not going to get a hit because it's not in our side 30 percent it's not a good success rate but it's still great and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get as many piece together as many hits as we can without actually focusing on the hit uh we're just focusing on what happens if we mess up chances are you might that's the pitcher's job throw you off timing right exactly so those are two drills uh and last one uh big pete let's go mets he, he um he's done this one i love this drill just put the ball right up the middle right down the middle and just go half swings you're gonna stop it literally right at contact not after not three quarters of the way you're going to stop it right at contact and see where you are 
at contact and see how strong you are at, at contact without yanking your shoulder open or anything like that. Step five is to mix and match. So mix and match your choke ups with different locations. Mix and match your choke ups with the three ball drill and, and just mix and match it. That's, that's essentially it. So by the way, if you want laser shows and you wanna make sure that your body's primed up and ready to go, I got a free bat speed warm up first thing in the bio. Go check that out. Let's go. The fifth way to get more barrels is to go for the fences. Yes, I, I, may, I mean go for the fences, but go for the longer fence. Go for the further fence like center field because that's the one that, that is keeps your swing true and eliminates any side spin, top spin, or, or bat path issues. Going for the shorter fence because let's be honest, that's gonna fulfill us short term, but it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna do any service for you or your swing in the long term. So I've always, had that goal to hit as many home runs center field as possible like dead center 450 you hear it all the time uh, but it was it was affirmed when i read this book it's called finding stillness in 95 by sean green former big league player for the toronto blue jays the dodgers and he's played for the mets as well he's had a i think one or two four home run games so you know that he knows a thing or two about finding stillness in 95 and a lot of what he said was that his batting practice sessions with carlos delgado back in the toronto blue jays days was filled with competition to hitting the ball to center field. He's even had those with Cliff Floyd and David Wright over, over with the Mets. So that's, that's one tip I, I can give you and I can carry that over from Sean Green to you. And that, that's to like really try to hit some bombs to center field because that's gonna keep your backspin true. It's gonna keep your bat path true. It's gonna keep your shoulder true. And, and, and there's no lies in any of that. So that, that's the whole point of hitting home runs to center field. Actually, the last tip I got for you for getting more barrels is to stop chasing. Like not every strike is created equal. So yes, it might be a strike, but you might roll it over because it's outside corner or whatever the case may be. Find a way to like hunt your pitch a little more so that you can do more damage because after all, the pitcher got to beat us three times. We only got to beat them once, right? It's, it's pretty much how math works. You get They get three strikes on us, we get one barrel off of them and we want the best chance for that barrel so obviously you got to be ready for every single pitch yes 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 no uh, but most importantly just don't don't panic if you get a one strike two strike called on you uh, because it's the, the at bats not over you got to be comfortable with two it is just the nature of this game everybody's throwing 95 plus now with nasty nasty stuff but you, you're gonna get something and you just got to be ready for it and, and not miss it and you're gonna do that by knowing your zone knowing what you like and, and spitting on pitches that might get yourself out. Because at the end of the day, you want to win the at bat, but you win the at bat by doing what you can control and, and not getting yourself out. So I, I hope that makes sense. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, go click that first link in the bio, go get you your free bat speed report. And until then, I'll see you at the next video. Y'all already know at the time, it's, it's like, it's always now.